Welcome to Network Nuts once again. In fact, we are back with a bang and uh, very good afternoon also. In this video, I'm going to show you a very simple hack how to hide your send mail identity. It's a very simple hack but a very useful tool or a very useful hack. So I have a virtual machine uh, for this particular video. So let me explain you. So I have this virtual machine already uh, already here for your purpose or for this video actually I had the send mail already configured here and it's live and kicking so if I give us uh, like service send mail restart it's already working there are no issues as such but the problem is that anybody who is known to Linux and he knows how to get the identity or of the of the servers or how to get the information about the servers he can easily give a telnet command like this telnet 172.24.0.253 and the port of the smtp we know that the smtp runs on the port number 25 so anybody from the outside world or like within your lan anybody can give this command and the send mail is uh, so cute enough actually he is so cute he gives away his identity here it is look here he gives away his identity straight away send mail automatically tells that person that my dear friend I am send mail here with this version now this information I put up a dot here and do a quit here now this information can be very handy and very dangerous for any potential hacker because what he knows now that the particular MTA or your MTA is running on the send mail and particular version now if he is a dedicated hacker he can go onto the net and try to exploit the weaknesses within this particular version so what we need to do we need to tell the cute send mail that please don't advertise your version so it will be very difficult for anybody to hack or to get in how to do this let's see so uh, we have a small file I hope you all know that the conf file is sendmail.cf just open the cf file not the mc file open up the cf file here it is search for the word greeting it will automatically brings the cursor here this is the line responsible for bringing the version and the name of the MTA on the telnet what I do here it's always a safe practice I do a copy of this line I comment out the original line so in case something goes wrong and then just simply change this particular area I uh, write here say identity hidden sorry and I remove the any previous codes or anything out here so I just commented out the original line and I just copied it and then I put my message or anything that you want to display here so I uh, here in this video I had shown identity hidden sorry or whatever save and come out and then just do a service send mail restart so I give a service send mail restart remember you are not supposed to run the m4 command don't run the m4 command so now I had just restarted the send mail so what happened now now if I try to I or somebody else is trying to hit it with the telnet wow now the as the send mail is not cute he is very smart my send mail is clearly showing him identity hidden sorry now it is uh, you had make the t task of the hacker a bit difficult to get in so that's a very s useful and a but a very small and a very useful hack I hope you like it thank you once again for your, all your love and uh, your loyalty see you soon thank you very much God bless bye